Yep. And we are live. What's going on, fam? What is good? Happy uh, 2018. It is uh, January 5th. We have a uh, very special guest today on the Baked Alaska show. It's uh, a person probably a lot of you know. Uh, he likes to debate right-wing people, I guess. that That's sort of how I know him. But I'm going to ask him some more questions uh, and get to know him. I, so, so the way I found out uh, about Destiny was actually uh, when I was hanging out with Ice Poseidon on a stream. And one of his guys came up. He's like, oh, you got to debate Destiny and all that stuff. So um, and, he, and he tweeted from my phone. So I'm not at like a huge debater. So I, I, the topic I chose... Is that we debate Star Wars? Because because I I'm not I'm not some like super serious guy here. I'm a comedian. I'm funny. You know I, I have my views. I like to play video games. But so we're gonna debate we're gonna debate Star Wars. So but before that, I just wanted to get to know Destiny a little bit because I haven't talked to him before and ask him some questions. And and he also there's a video if you guys haven't seen he gave Ice Poseidon uh, advice about his streaming community when he was sort of fucking up. And I will never forget that video. It was just really solid, good advice. So this dude, you know, whether you like him or not, has experience in the streaming community. And so I look up to that for sure. So uh, welcome, Destiny, to the show. Hey, welcome me. Thank you. Welcome you to my show. And yeah, what's up? Just chilling, just chilling, man. So uh, what have you been playing these days? Uh, mainly a horrible game called League of Legends, and then a couple of solo player games or single oh, player dude. games. Oh, yeah. dude! Hey, League of Legends is not a terrible game. I love League of Legends. Well, you haven't I, uh, played it that... enough, then. <laughs> it's a horrible. What game. do you mean? I don't that, know. That that that's pretty much my favorite game right now. I mean, the meta the meta is kind of shitty right now. I, I will admit that. But what do you, you like? Do you play ranked or whatever? Yeah. What like yeah. rank are you? Um, I'm like a challenger. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> so does that mean gold or silver or what plat oh okay that's not too bad no 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 i'm uh i'm silver for oh okay. I'm, a, I'm a noob well you're trying I'm, I'm, I'm trying i'm not that good but i'm like i don't know i enjoy it. i play i like jungle a lot i've been playing um the shit out of warwick warwick jungle is pretty op right now and um and then a lot of adc so gin i've been playing gin jinx ash there's a ton of ADC, but mainly I do ADC and jungle. But my best character right now is definitely Warwick, the Warwick jungle. It's just, just crazy upbeat. What about you? Um, yeah, I normally play AD carry. Um, Who do you play? Uh, right now I'm doing Tristana. Um, Trist is Trist is super OP. Sure. I always, I, I usually ban Trist. It's it's ridiculous. The, I thought the worlds were really good this year. They haven't been good for the last couple of years but I, I enjoyed the worlds so that's cool though i'm glad you play league i uh we should play sometime i'll put my uh here's my league name gotcha. do you share your do you share your league name publicly or is that private um yeah i mean i kind of have to right because i'm streaming so people can always see it punish destiny okay cool yeah i'll i'll add you after this that's cool man so um yeah more, more about you so i just wanted to ask you like so who exactly are you? I mean, the way I describe you is I, I, I know you've debated some of my friends. You like to debate right wingers. You obviously don't like Trump. Like where when did you start streaming and how did like video games turn into politics? I guess I, I'm pretty curious about that. Um, I guess I've, I've always been I've been streaming for a long time. I was one of the first professional streamers. I've been doing it for probably over seven years now. Um the um i've always we've always kind of talked about other stuff on my stream like philosophy or psych or ethics or politics or whatever and then during the 2016 election season um that thing th th during that whole ordeal the political talk really picked up and i noticed a lot of other people doing politics on youtube and i felt like a lot of it was kind of dumb so i decided to jump into it so now i split my time up between gaming and politics kind of 50 50 okay that's cool so what like what is your what, would it be correct to say that you hate Trump or or what is your feelings on Trump? Um yeah, yeah, I guess you could probably say that. I think that everything he's done is pretty bad. I don't well, I don't know if I would say I hate Trump. I think Trump is really stupid um and pretty ineffective as a leader and then obviously ideologically we're opposed on a lot of different grounds as well, so whatever you want to take from that. 
You think he's pretty stupid? You yeah. think he uh, eats too much McDonald's, drinks too much Diet Coke? Oh, I don't know about any of that. I just think that his answer to every question related to anything more complicated than... Uh, like how do, you, yes or no. how do you know he's not playing 4D chess, buddy? How do you know he's not taking you for a whirl there? Well, because there's been no indication that he is, I guess. <laughs> I mean, I think okay. 4D chess right, would have enough. had, you know, like... I feel like it would have been less disastrous in office by now if that was true, but... I mean, some raspberries, dude. I'm on this, like, all-fruit diet. All-fruit? Isn't that, like, a it ton of sugar? I'm doing, like, it's, like, all-fruit during the day until, like, 6 p.m., and then you can, like, eat a bomb meal. You can eat whatever you want. But I'm during, like, the fruit-only portion. Okay. And so it, it, it's, it's hard. I'm struggling here. I'm, like, eating this thing of raspberries. Um, gotcha. Yeah. So, so you think Trump is not smart. So you think... What you're telling me is you think someone who isn't smart can become the president of the United States? Yeah, I mean, it's not like you have to take an IQ test to become president. I mean, people like Ben Carson and and Jeb Bush. Well, I don't know if Jeb Bush is an idiot, but people like Ben Carson and whatnot were running. Um, who have ben said, Carson is super smart, dude. What are you talking about? I mean, he's smart when it comes to probably like neurosurgery. Think, but outside of that, not, he said some pretty dumb things. So you think he's not smart because he's black? Why is that? I, I mean, I don't think I said that. I listed Jeb I mean, Bush as well, that, and I don't think... That sounds, a little, that sounds a little racist, Destiny. I mean, I'm trying to keep things... I'm trying to keep an open playing field and just, you know, consider everyone's feelings and not just, like, look at the race. I think Ben Carson is a very intelligent man. Okay. I mean, I guess I would disagree. I haven't really seen... Outside of his neurosurgery practice, I haven't really seen any evidence of that. Seems <laughs> like he's pretty lost in his whole uh, HUD position, and, yeah, you know, during the nomination, he said a lot of really dumb things, so... I, yeah, he, he, he has said some dumb things. I'll give you that. I, I'm just messing with you. But um, we got a super chat here. Uh, James Laurie, thank you. He said, Destiny could be part of your daytime diet. Ooh. Looks like that's a dig it. So how tall are you? I've, I've heard rumors you were 5'1". Is yeah, that, I mean, what, I guess what, 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 what are the official stats? I'm, I, just, I'm not actually even sure anymore. Um, <laughs> are when you I, straight? So if I stand next to a wall and I put like a ruler on there, it says that I'm five eight. But so many people online say so many different things. I kind of start to wonder. I'm not sure if maybe my measurement devices are a little bit messed up. I might be five two. I might be four six. I might be a dwarf. I'm not actually even sure. <laughs> well, five eight is not bad. That's not. I don't even think you're in manlet status. But for some reason, everyone kept saying you were like five one yeah i don't i'm not sure i guess when you run out of real arguments you kind of go to the go to the random things maybe go to the ad hominems yeah that's true so real quick i wanted to ask some advice i i, I know you guys uh you know want me to go at it with destiny um and, and we'll get there we'll get there to the star wars bit but what i wanted to get some advice from you because i i do look up to you as a streamer we might not agree politically but um what advice could you give me sort of lately i feel like i don't know if you can uh relate to this but i've had a lot a lot of my community it seems like it's almost like weekly now it's just like there's a lot of discord drama there's a lot of people that don't like certain people that are like i'm not going to be in the community if these people are there and there seems to be a lot of stuff like that that goes on kind of frequently as seems to happen online and trying to make peace with everyone like i've, I've sort of just i don't know i i always feel like i'm always disappointing some people and i'm trying to keep rules and keep like standards because you know i don't want people in my community that are complete assholes and are just going to be toxic and all that so what advice could you give me as far as how to like sort out the toxic people from your community but without being like a dick about because i do like free speech and i do like to allow people with different opinions in my community i i mean i don't know too much about your stuff but but i know a little bit about it don't you do like um and i don't mean like an insult but don't you do like a lot of like really edgy like racial related kind of charlottesville stuff or didn't you weren't you involved in a lot of this kind of stuff i'm not i'm not super edgy no not at all <laughs> I, not even a little edgy. I, the only I reason mean, I bring I, it up is not, not to like, not to insult you or whatever. But like, I mean, if you build a community around like really edgy content like that, like if you if you draw a lot of viewers from like like poll esque places or like the Donald esque places, like then you would expect that to, to manifest in your community in dramatic ways, right? You think the Donald is edgy? Yeah, I, I would. <laughs> I'd say a little edgy. Yeah, a little edgy. A little edgy. Okay. 
or maybe Fair very enough. edgy. Yeah, I, I, guess, I guess I guess I'm edgy. I guess I'm edgy. Uh, but yes, no, no. I was at I was at Charlottesville for sure. I think I think the public perception of me definitely is that I'm edgy. But I think when you sit down and talk to me or get to know me, I'm really not that edgy. Sure. So, you know, I, I believe in free speech. I believe being able to talk on a stage with people you don't fully agree with and i think that's totally fine and i think you know if you know what happened to me at charlottesville i got attacked by antifa so i showed up i showed up to speak at a free speech rally they had a uh, permit for the rally and i was invited and there was various types of people it wasn't some scary kkk rally like the media reported and uh you know there were some stupid people there of course i would agree with that uh but there was also some good people there wait wasn't charlottesville and- the, the literal like nazis that <laughs> you're, are you joking? I, I can't tell if you're being serious. Wait, I thought that I'm pretty sure Charlottesville had literal self-described neo-Nazis. It was not. The, no, it was not a Nazi rally. No. Wait, are you sure about this? I'm positive. Yeah, I was there. Were you there? I, I wasn't there, but every article that I read on this described it, and I think the organizers were. For, hey, for, yes, you you read fake news, Destiny. That's what happened. That's what happened. So that that's the big misunderstanding. Are there you were people sure that, about this? I'm positive. Yes, I was invited, and, and other people were invited that are definitely not Nazis. I'm not a Nazi. And well, not every single person there might have been a Nazi, but it but it, I'm it was sure. not a Nazi rally. It was not a KKK rally. It was a it was a free speech rally. Is the point? Were there people there that are national socialists that showed up? Yes, there were some people that showed up. They're national socialists. There were apparently some KKK people. Were they literally get- chanting like "Blood and soil, and Jews will not replace us"? I was at the I was at the torchlit rally. I never heard. Wait, never the, t- heard the tiki torch rally? <laughs> oh, I was I was at the famous tiki torch rally, baby. Yes. Okay. But I, ne- this... I, I, ne- I never heard. I never heard that. I never. I heard you will not replace us, which is a demographic uh, immigration debate uh, for another day. But I don't think there's anything wrong with saying you will not replace us, which to me means uh, we want to keep. The demographics majority whites and because that's how our country was founded just like in japan they want to keep it majority japanese and i don't think there's anything wrong with that don't um, you think but that it doesn't mean i hate other people or don't want other people to be here i just want to keep the majority okay well so like if we're talking about like keeping the demographics majority white and stuff aren't we aren't we getting kind of close to nazism there like a certain race of people should be, you know, upheld in no. terms of like our. You don't think not so? Not at all. Not, not at even all. a little uh, bit. Not even just no, a little itty bitty. <laughs> nope, not at all. You're stretching. Okay, because when somebody takes a country no, that's that, pretty, no, that that would be destiny. That would be like saying uh, Japan are Nazis. They have ninety eight point four percent ethnic Japanese there. So do sure, you, think, but, the, do you well, think the Japanese are Nazis, Destiny? Kind of, yeah. Japan is one of the. Is what? Japan, you, Japan, think that, ah! you think? Well, Japan, Japan has some of like the worst like treatment of like other people in in the world. It's actually like a really well documented thing. Like, back, you can, Destiny, take it back. You just you just said a thing that is going to be. This is a meme right now. And the anime fans are never going to uh, forgive you for this, man. Okay. You better think about what you're saying. I mean, I'm thinking about it, but I'm I'm pretty sure that Japan is like one of the most racist countries on the planet, or at least it was five or ten years ago. I don't know how they've made progress. So, there, so J- okay, so Japan is Nazis. Okay, so Israel, they also have a uh, high, pretty high ethnic uh, Jewish population. So, are they Nazis? I mean, too? I am. You're I'm, you're not going to find a defender of Israel here. I'm not a big fan of the way Israel conducts itself. So, uh, <laughs> are you? Are, what? what? What does that mean? That so you're anti-Semitic. No, I just I think the whole Israel Palestine thing is really not, fucked you're up. Fan, you're not a fan of Israel, you said. Not not really, no. So, you're not a fan of the Semitic Israel that would be anti-Semitic. Correct? Am I am I reading you correctly well, there? Well, to be anti-Semitic, I would have to not like Israel because they're Jewish. <laughs> I don't really care that they're Jewish. I just don't why like don't Israel. You, why don't you like Israel? Well, I don't know. It seems like they bully those poor little Palestinian dudes around quite a bit. <laughs> I'll I'll tell you why I uh, you know, I, I have a love-hate relationship there. You know, like, uh-huh. as far as making Jerusalem the capital, I have no problem with that. As far as them existing, I have no problem with that. Um, but us giving them boatloads of money constantly when we get nothing in return, I, I think that's a shitty deal. And I think that's a shitty deal with um, any country. Sure. Well, I mean, we, we, we're interested in, like, um, geographic influence, right? It's, like, probably one of the big reasons why we're fans of Israel. 
Mm -hmm. unless you believe that the Jews are secretly controlling us to be big fans of Israel. I'm not sure how far down that road you are, or road you are, but... I mean, everything is a Jewish conspiracy. I mean, that's just obvious. You know, Ice Poseidon, he's... I don't know if you're trolling or not. He's like 27%, and he's pretty greedy, so... It's impossible to tell if you're being serious, because there are a lot of people that really (laughs) believe this. Well... Okay, wait, so... I I don't don't think the Jews control everything. Um, Do they control quite a bit of stuff? I think they have an over-proportionate uh, amount of influence in our media. I would agree with that. Okay. Well, hey, so what, if you thought what, that... What do you think about that? Well, I'm what just curious. I'm just curious. If, you, if somebody told you that they were marching with tiki torches and they were chanting, you will not replace us, and they were really concerned with the demographics, and they also thought that Jews had a disproportionate amount of power, if you had to describe that person maybe with one word, what word do you think you would use to describe that person? Fucking based. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fucking base, dude. Okay. Seems like we're getting a little close oof, to the to the Nazi thing, just a little your, bit. Your, your whole goal here is just to paint me as a Nazi. Well, no, I'm not it. trying. I don't, I'm not really... I'm not, uh, well, it's I'm, a funny meme. It's a funny meme. I like it. I like it. Well, I don't know. I, I don't like that stuff, but okay. Well, a, a Nazi... What is a Nazi, Destiny? And why, don't, why don't you tell your fans? They, they probably don't even know what that means. What What is a Nazi? It's a... Well, right. if you're referring to the actual like National Socialist World War II German Party, I mean that's when they. But I think typically it's, a, today, it's, a, it's a National Socialist of the Workers Party. So, yeah. or what? What do? You, so well, what I think typically today Nazis? when we talk about Nazis, we're usually talking, Are about, you talking like, about like neo Nazis. Yeah, neo-Nazis? we're talking about ideologies associated with like fascist thinking related to like ethnic uh, supremacy and whatnot, or racial supremacy is generally what we're talking about, right? And then there are probably more specific like actual neo Nazi and sub neo Nazi groups and whatnot. But I, but I think like generally that's what we're talking about some type of like fascist um, ethnic ethnically pure ethno state advocating group generally. You know, well, if we're going to talk about identity politics, you know, <laughs> my my stance on this is that I see everyone. You know, I'm not a fan. I'm not really a fan of identity politics in general, um, and I think getting way too obsessed with them is toxic on any side for sure. But if every other race is going to advocate for their interests based on race, it would it would simply be retarded to for for white people not to advocate for their own interests on behalf of the race. Does that make sense? So I would argue that nobody should be advocating for like race related, like superiority things. Like, I don't think that's good for anybody, at least not in the United States. I, I can't really speak for other countries because I don't have a but the, right. But, to- the pro- the, but the problem is, you know, I, I, and I might agree with you there, but the problem is they are, people are advocating for that. So it, it, it's sort of like all the other races are jacked up on steroids at the Olympics. And then it's like, no, you, you, you got to play by the rules, guys. You know, so all the other races are doing it. I don't really feel like that's true, though. Yeah, they are. Are you kidding me? Black Lives Matter. Do you, you know, like that? That's accepted. Yeah, so most that's, of these races they, are. They literally get their own hashtag on Twitter. They get promoted by all these social media companies, by all the tech companies. Oh, you're such a hero. Black Lives Matter. If you were to say White Lives Matter, then you go, then you start calling people Nazis, Destiny, like you you just did. You're like, oh, you're holding a tiki torch, you're a Nazi. You know, so, so that that's the problem here. There's this, there's this incredible hypocrisy and. and it, it's just it's not right like, so like I, I feel like the problem is that like white people have generally been really good in american society for since it's pretty much its inception and there have been like a couple of fucky because things they, because they created the country yeah duh. sure yeah and then there have been some really fucky things going on with other groups of people so when other groups of people are trying to write what they perceive as injustice such as like unfair treatment by the cops it sounds kind of disingenuous for white people to go well white lives matter too like everybody knows white lives matter black or white people don't kill get killed by the cops the same with like black people yeah they it? do more, more white people get killed by cops than black people every year per capita you know more no the, the number more more white people get sure. killed in, you, you know, would expect that cop, though because cops. there's like eight times more white people in the united states than black people so of course but we're not talking but about you that. never hear that you never hear that dude you never hear that so, people don't, people don't talk about that well that's because generally- I, I i think i think anyone who is wrongly killed by a cop i think or by anybody. I think that's sad. That's terribly sad. And I don't like that. Yeah, of you know, course. But, but we, you're we kind of like... We don't have some... You're, you're so against, you know, racial superiority. 
but then you're shilling for Black Lives Matter. You're, you're literally white knighting for Black Lives Matter because they got shot by cops when everyone's getting shot by cops. Yeah, but it's, it's not but the, black I don't, there aren't as many white is, people is that are getting, getting fucked up by cops in the same is, way is that everyone, black people is are. Everyone like, get, that's the whole point is, of the Black Lives only, Matter movement. Is getting shot by cops exclusive to black people, Destiny? It's it's a pretty big problem. Is that's, it exclusive It doesn't to have black to be exclusive. Destiny. Everybody has problems. Is it exclusive? No, but it doesn't need to be exclusive. Oh, no. Okay, so there we go. So... It affects everybody, and it, it, it's not a black person problem. So, well, but it, affects, but it affects black people disproportionately. You have to be against it across the board. Yeah, I'm always you against it, of course. Yeah. No, you're not. Yes, you're, I you're am. You're pro Black Lives Matter. You're pro Black Lives Matter, dude. So let's Come say on. that we walk into a building, okay? And let's say that there are ten coats, okay? Ooh. Five of them are really nice for men. Five of them are really shitty for women, okay? Five really nice $1,000 um, Burberry, Gucci, whatever coats for men. And then five, like, really shitty Walmart jackets that have holes in them for women. And then let's say that all, all ten of them walk into the center to have, like, a meeting. And the, and everybody here is, like, an egalitarian. They believe in equal rights. Everybody. Let's say that the women say, hey, you know, our coats are really shitty. Can we, like, put together, like, a committee to get, like, better coats for us? You can't look at them and go hey wait you can't complain about that issue that's impacting you like we're supposed to be in favor of everything for everybody like that doesn't really make any sense you know black people have a problem with cops that is unique to black people in the united states right now white people do experience problems with the cops too lots of people have problems with the cops um that's across the board but there is a specific issue that black people specifically have in regards to the cops that affects them more than it does the other races so that's what black lives matter was kind of like created to address and then there's a lot of other issues that they go into as well but first first of all that coat analogy is probably the most boring analogy i've ever heard and i don't that doesn't even make sense well wait what part um, of it don't you understand because i because this is important what part of it don't you understand you're talking about like coats on a coat rack i i, I i'm not well i'm, I'm not saying following. that like if 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 a group of people are advocating for an issue that is impacting them just because you're advocating for that issue that impacts everybody right the quality of coat is something that's important to everybody but if it disproportionately impacts one group they have a right to kind of like advocate for that right and it's not saying that they don't care about anybody else's coat but just that their coats are especially fucked right much like blm i don't think anybody in black lives matter would make the claim oh yeah cop, uh, white people are treated awesomely by the cops all the time i'm sure a lot of them would say oh yeah white people get fucked by the cops too but this is an issue that is very much like disproportionately black targeted towards black an people organization that members have killed cops and they regularly and i've captured this on stream many times regularly do the fist the black power fist that that is racial superiority um, I've gone up to people actually at UCLA r pretty recently, and I, I, even, I even gave them the benefit of the doubt. I said, what does that fist mean? Does that mean black power? And they said, yes, it means black power. And I said, okay, well, how would you feel if I said white power and, and did a fist? And they said, oh, well, you can't do that because you're white. So – there is I a mean, major, like, this is a there, really, there's a major element of racial superiority. Yeah, I guess in Black like this Lives is like Matter. a this is like a really nuanced and, issue that you can't just look at it as like everything being even. Like white people and black people don't have the same power in society right now, right? You don't agree with that, do you? Do you think that white people and black people are, are the same on all, on all ends right now in society? They have the same access to education, same access to the job market, same access to wealth. Do you think that's fair to say right now or no? I, I no, they don't. Of course, I never, okay. So if I white never people have, I never claimed they did. Sure. So if white people have predominantly all of the power in society compared to black people, it makes uh, sense why black people would kind of rally around and need like a, a thing my to fellow kind of, white people. Sure. Yeah. So it makes sense why black people would kind of have like a, a call to uh, action wait, to stop well, that. Wait. 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 Let, let, let's slow down for a second, Destiny. So, I mean, before mm -hmm. we were talking about uh, people who control industries, so I, I would not agree that white people can control the majority of american industries who does like, i i don't know you tell me who, who who runs who who predominantly has control in hollywood and the media i mean we could I, go is, do you want it, like a fortune is it, is, it, is it white people or who is it just be honest dude just be i mean so like if we if you know we, the answer. well no no I'm, so if we were to open like the fortune 500 list aren't, aren't racist man. wait if we were to open the fortune 500 list do you think we would see like a lot of black people there or a lot of women there or do you think we would see overwhelmingly white men there you would not no you would not see overwhelmingly white Are you, men you can I, look at dodging, it right now if you want you're dodging, you're dodging look it up you're dodging my question okay i, said, I looked it up and there's a fortune you know, article and it says it's well documented that the c-suits and boardrooms of fortune 500 companies well, are overwhelmingly what, what, white what, and what male what are you reading this on it's a fortune 500 article. i mean this is like pretty well accepted who you're not you're dodging my question who yeah. predominantly has influence power and control in hollywood in hollywood california where they make the movies it who is it what race of people I would probably guess mainly white people. 
Oh, okay. Or wait, or wait, hold on. I'm sorry. Are you, you know, do you draw a distinction between like white people and Jewish people? Are these two different classes for you? You would guess white people. So Steven Spielberg sounds like a white guy. Okay, well, hold on, because I'm not sure. So you Steven can, Spielberg. Well, okay, I'm, I'm, do, do you consider Spielberg? Jewish people? Are they're they're, a Silverman. Okay, do you think that Jewish? First of all, Silverman has no power in Hollywood. Do you think that Jewish people are a separate group than white people? Is that what you're? Do you, I, I, I was under the impression that Jews are uh, Semitic. Yeah. Not not white. Okay, I don't. Well, I don't know. Then I would have to go and look down at the breakdown between Jewish and white people. You don't know that. What? But you thought Jewish people and white people were the same people. It, well, it depends on who you ask. Like even Tara McCarthy argued that Jewish people could be considered white people. So I never know what that thought is over there on whether or not you guys consider Jews whites or not. What so do you I'm, mean? What do you mean, you guys? What do you mean? I'm just a, I'm just a normal guy. What do you mean, you guys? Guy, well, guys that consider Jewish people non-white. <laughs> well, well, if you do a. I'm, I'm just following the 23 and me. I'm following the ancestry test. It says they're Ashkenazi. So it, it well, but it you're, is, but you're 23 and me, uh, your 23 and me doesn't say you're white though. There's, that's not listed on a 23. Says you're, it says you're European. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. It'll, it'll I'll give you your specific, up, I'll pull mine up sure. right now. it'll give you sections of Europe that you're from, but it'll never just say European. Somebody from Southern Europe is going to be way different than somebody from, from Ireland or Northern Ireland, or, um, even depending on which country you're in, you know, um, what like isn't it like northern Spain, southern Spain? Like there are way different groups of people. Yeah, but you're gonna get breakdowns. You're gonna have yeah, Russian. But it's not gonna call you white or European. German. It's gonna be way more specific than that. But so so you don't think so? You, I mean, I'm curious. Mm-hmm. So you don't think being Jewish is a race? Um, I don't really. What what what? what how do you explain Ashkenazi? Like what? Is I, don't, I mean, I, there's probably a population of people that are that have that ancestry. I don't know if I necessarily subscribe to the idea of like races beyond like skin color. I guess I don't know. I got to pull up this Laura Loomer tweet. Did you see that tweet by Laura Loomer? Do you know Laura Loomer? No. My wife? Yeah, that's my wife. Let me pull up this tweet. Why do you think, and by the way, why do you think they suspended me from Twitter? Do you do you agree with Twitter's decision or do you, do you think I should stay on Twitter? What do you think? I, I mean, I don't know why you got suspended, so I can't really say. They, well, they didn't tell me. They didn't tell me. What did you? But do? what do you? What, what do you think? I mean, the last thing that I remember is I got an email that said one of my tweets like broke a law in Germany because I said ban all Muslims from the U.S. So I think that's the tweet. <laughs> do you think that's? I don't know. Do dude. you think that's a bannable offense? It might be. I don't know what Twitter's terms of service. Are. I'm asking you. I'm I don't asking, know. I'm not. I don't write the I Twitter TOS. If the tweet, okay, if the tweet was ban all Muslims from the U.S., do you mm-hmm. think that's a? Do you think that's a toxic tweet? Do you think that is a bannable offense? Or, or, or do you well, think- you're asking me like a really loaded question. Do you think I think that morally you should be deplatformed from Twitter? Or do you think that I, that I think that the Twitter TOS was violated or that American law? Like what exactly you think, are you asking? Do you, think mo- do you think morally that I should be deplatformed for saying that? Um, I don't know. That's a really big conversation. I usually fall pretty extreme in that category. I'm pretty big on the free speech stuff, so I usually am not in favor of anybody being deplatformed. But, I, I mean, that doesn't speak to American law or a German law or the Twitter TOS. Does that so? Does that trigger you? Do, and like, what do you think about that statement? I mean, I think it's a pretty stupid statement. In the United States, we don't typically discriminate based on religion here. Or we don't. It's, it's illegal. Well, in Trump's travel ban, we do. Well, you're in, you're in, you're in Trump's America now, buddy. Get well, used for to another it. year or two, yeah. <laughs> not, what do you mean? You got you got seven more years, dude. You got we'll, seven more we'll years. We'll see if we make it through this term. I'm not sure. Are you fucking kidding me? Come on, man. You think he's gonna get impeached? I have no idea. It's hard. It's impossible to say. You're in Trump's America. You, stop stop being in denial. You're in Trump's America. Trump is your daddy, baby. Trump's Trump not is my your, daddy. Trump is a president. Yes, he is. He's your president, okay? Yeah, but he's not. So, well, that doesn't mean he you represents said, like American you said values. We don't or anything. ban people by uh, by religion. By re- it's a protected class. Yes, we do. Well, we I just mean, did it. Well, that's Trump just well. Did it. That's why it's being challenged by the courts. I guess we'll wait until that finishes its way through to see if how the Supreme Court takes that. But oh, it already they um it got approved. No, it didn't. It did. It didn't. It, it got denied. They lifted. Um, I think they lifted approved. like the injunction against it, so some parts of it were implemented. But I'm pretty sure it's still on its way to the Supreme Court. Hmm. Well, I, I mean, why, why do you want what? I, I mean, I, I don't know what religion you are. Are you Muslim? I'm very that, much an atheist. You're an atheist. Okay. A, oh, you're an edgy, edgy skeptic. Very. Atheist. I wouldn't even say atheist. I would say I'm anti-theist. Yes. Very Whoa. atheist. Yeah. Are you anti-Christian? Yes. Whoa. 
Okay. Well, I'm a Christian, so. Okay. Well, that's okay. Because, see, I don't hate you because of your religion. I'm glad you're here. You don't, you don't, I, I thought you were anti. Yeah, I hate religion. I don't like religion. But I don't hate the people not, but not that are religious. You don't hate the people. You yeah. just hate the. All right. Well, I'm going to I'm going to pray for you, Destiny. I I'm going to pray <laughs> Thanks, that buddy. you will find Jesus one oh. day. And I, I I think we might even pray for you every day because I think you do have a powerful voice and God could really use you, man. Okay. Um, did you were you, do you have daddy issues? No, I don't think so. You don't think so? I I mean I mean there it, might be I some feel, deeply like rooted a, problem I and like I don't know about it. Can any person like can, can any man kind of truly know themselves? You either have daddy issues or you don't. Well, that's like asking somebody if they're crazy. Like, I don't know. I don't think I'm crazy. But if I was, would I actually know, right? Would any crazy person actually be able to perceive their own craziness? I don't know, my dude. That's true. That's true. You make a good point. I'm trying to find this tweet. Can someone in the Discord link me the Laura Loomer tweet? I'm trying to bring this up. People are, people what tweet are, are you looking for? <laughs> Pray for destiny, everyone. Um, it's a Laura Loomer tweet. Yeah, about what? About um, who controls the media. Is, it Jew is she going to say Jews too? Well, she's Jewish, but okay. She, she points. She points out because you were asking like who controls Hollywood and et cetera like that, and she basically gives a laundry list of people. Yeah, I think I found the tweet. And, Jewish owners slash CEOs of top media companies: Fox News, yeah. Robert Murdoch, CNN, Jeff yes. Zucker. Yeah. Yeah. Keep, go ahead and read it. Keep reading. Um, yeah. Well, I mean, I see them all here. I can link you the tweet. This one right here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh wait, hold on. That wasn't the right tweet. Oh, no, wait, I think that is a tweet. It's the last thing I sent you. I just sent it again. All right. Okay, so I'll read it. Yeah, so Jewish owners, CEOs of top media companies, and that's um, from Laura Loomer. Let me see if I can actually uh, screen share this real quick. Yeah, there we go. Okay, Jewish owners, CEOs of top media companies is on Laura Loomer's page, and she's Jewish. Um, and she was responding to Tariq Nasheed, okay. by the way. Um, so she said, uh, Fox News, Rupert, Rupert Murdoch, CNN, Jeff Zucker, NBC, Brian Roberts, CBS, ABC, New York Times, Facebook, Mark Zuckerberg, HBO, on and on. Do you need me to name any more Jews for you, Tariq? And, and that was responding to Tariq saying, Laura Loomer, can you please name these Jews who control the media? So... That is coming, and you can look at her uh, proud American Jew in her Wait, bio. And all I don't that. think Murdoch is even Jewish. Hey, Lord, are you Jewish? I'm not. No, but I'm. But Murdoch. Well, I don't, Murdoch saying, isn't. I don't think Murdoch is Jewish. He's actually gotten in trouble before for making anti-Jewish comments about well, owners of press. Well, you you might be right. I don't know. I'm I'm just saying Laura Loomer is Jewish and. So they could be like special the, Jewish identification powers? Does she have yeah, like the Jew she eyes? The, she has the Jew card. She has the special Jew card, yeah. Okay, she sees him at the meetings every Friday, so she knows. Yeah, she's at, I remember she's you. At, she's at the secret meeting. No, but my, po my point is, why, why are we seeing things? Why are even Jewish people admitting that, yes, like, we do control the media? We, I, I mean, Milo said something like that. He's like, we do control the media. We do control the banks, you know. And it doesn't mean 100% of it. Well, but I mean, like, there's a difference between, like, there's, the a, heads. there's a difference I'm, I'm, between I'm saying, not saying, like, there's people at this, like, secret little table going, hey, 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 like, got, we got all you. But, like, to, to say that they don't have an enormous amount of influence in our media and technology in Hollywood is just completely false. So there's a difference between saying that, like, there are a lot of Jews that own media places rather than, like, there are Jews that have worked together to control the media as a Jewish collective and to push like a pro Zionist propaganda thing to the media. Like these are two very different statements, no? They are, yeah. Yeah. So like if I saw but, evidence but, but, of like a Jewish propaganda stuff being pushed, like that would be very worrying, but I don't think I normally see that. Well, I, there's definitely an anti white propaganda. Uh, being pushed. I don't know if I would say anti-white is the same as like pro. -black. There would, there would be. I mean, go look at BuzzFeed. Go look at any of these places. Huffington Post. What's like an example of like an anti-white? They, they, they put out, they put out stuff. You know, twenty-one reasons why white people ruin everything or why white people suck, but they won't do it for any other race. They would never do it for uh, Muslims. They would never do it for Jews. They would never do it for Black people. And there's a clear anti-white 
sentiment that we that I mean we so see. like in the editorial section there are some things that are I guess pretty racy like that sure but I don't think any of these articles are like but it's it's only targeted towards white people yeah but I mean like none of these articles the, the whole point is that none of these articles can like do damage to white people because white people have majority power in the United it, States it, do, it doesn't matter what the damage is done it, it matters that they have that that those are anti-white articles Okay, well, I mean, I think I kind of feel like the damage does matter. You said before matter. there are no anti-white articles. Now you just admitted there are. <laughs> I I, th- I feel like these issues are a little bit more complicated than you're giving them credit for. Like the the reason why people look at different races in the United States and, and what they should do or shouldn't do, or imagine, what's like morally culpable or morally inculpable, has to do with the power that these people hold. Alaska destiny. What? Imagine getting BTFO'd by Baked Alaska. Well, it's not BTFO'd. You just have like a child. <laughs> like, you have like a really childlike view of how like all of these systems come together. I, I never grow up. I'm like Peter Pan. Well, that's fine. There's a lot of people on YouTube that would agree with you. So. Yeah. I mean, I mean at least I'm not 5'1". Yeah, that's true. I'm like 5'3". Nice job. So. Anyways, anyways, let, let's move on. I, I, I think it's time. I think it's time we talk about Star Wars. So. I think the new Star Wars was the shittiest Star Wars. It's the sh- one of the shittiest movies I've ever seen. They completely ruined the movie for me. I thought it was fucking terrible. You know, we wait, we wait 30 years to see Luke Skywalker come back. And, you know, and the, I actually liked the last movie. I liked the last, the J.J. Abrams. I, I was a little hard on it at first, but I, I, I like it now. I mean, it's a masterpiece compared to this one. And, you know... The, the first thing in this new movie, we have this whole build up. You know, they, they have the map to find Luke and they have Luke's lightsaber. And this is, you know, such a big deal. And they build up Snoke is such an evil guy. And then literally in the very first scene of the movie, Luke goes to grab the lightsaber and just throws it behind him. Right when that started, I was like, something is up here. This shit is awful. And it, it was garbage. And I think it was actually propped up. Um, like Rotten Tomatoes and these other companies, they gave it like a 98% or something ridiculous. Well, listen, that was a really important moment, actually. That was I actually really liked the new Star Wars. I think that Luke throwing that Luke throwing that lightsaber was actually really symbolic, I think, in the movie. And thematically, it was consistent with everything that kind of Star Wars is is going forward towards, right? So, for instance, um, basically, by Luke throwing away that lightsaber, what he was doing, it was kind of like symbolic of like tossing away the old ways of the Jedi and that the kind of like the old ideas that we had about what the Jedi were and all of that were really silly and really dumb, right? This is actually a theme that's come all the way from episodes one, two, and three when we saw the Jedi Council, who were really like power mongers, like power hungry dudes, fail to hold on to their power when they let the whole Senate go away to the um, whatever the Emperor Palpatine guy, right? And you see this later when Yoda comes back to Luke. Yoda tells Luke, um, "Yeah, Yo, you know, this lady knows nothing that we do not, or whatever, right?" When when he burns the Jedi Temple to sh- to show that like the Jedi need to move forward into a new direction. I think that Dude, Luke the throwing movie was trash. Well, sure, but I, well, I know, but we can talk like specific scenes. I'm just saying like that that. Scene where he threw the lightsaber was really important. It was it was, it was a symbolic of him kind of th- shedding or throwing away like the Jedi thoughts of the old to embrace they, like the new direction forward. You, you can't be serious, dude. They they spent the whole last movie finding the lightsaber and the, then just to be thrown away in in five seconds. That's, that's yeah, but that's like that's that's life. life. That's like it's, 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 it's symbolic of life, right? Just like her, just like her search for her parents is is ultimately futile, right? Because your parents shouldn't define her. Her search for a lightsaber that embodies some legendary glory of the past that Luke Skywalker himself admits in the temple, like, oh, you know, legends are just that legends. They don't mean anything, right? It, it was very symbolic. You spend all this time chasing something that you have built up in your mind as being so important, and ultimately it ends up meaning absolutely nothing. Thing. You see this theme played out when she finds out that her parents were no names as well or whatever, right? I think this is pretty consistent in the movie. And some people in the chat, um, and I've heard this, um, I'm going to give you a chance to clear your name here. So a uh-huh. lot of people are saying uh, Destiny is pro-pedophile. Is that true? No, that's really nasty. I have a son. I would why? never be pro-pedophile. Oh, you have a son? Yeah, okay. six years old, yeah. So why, was there, is there any, um, I saw a bunch of people saying that. Is there some argument you had about that or something? Um, yeah, I had a big argument with a guy. Do you know who Amos he is or whatever? No, I don't. Oh, he was a big guy that was pushing pedophilia through the skeptic community. And he was actually convincing, like, all sorts of people that pedophilia was good. He told he got Sargon on board with it. Um, Andy Warsky. All of these guys were starting to say, what? like, oh, yeah, yeah, it was crazy. They were starting to feel like, yeah, maybe pedophiles are okay. Or maybe, like, there should be no age of consent. Like, he was convincing all sorts of people. And then I stepped up to debate him. And I gave him the, whew, gave him the little swat down there. 
I shut that argument down. I went through and I turned all the skeptics anti-pedophile again, and a lot of people were really salty oh, okay. at that. Yeah, yeah so, so someone someone corrected said, "No, he's not a pedo. He had a hypothetical defense for pedals." Pedo. Pedals. Oh no, there was like some really weird nuanced point in part of my Amos discussion where we were talking about like child porn or something, but ultimately that there was a huge two hour debate that I had with him where I took the anti pedophile debate to try to um, argue. Now, now, now a lot of people are saying you're lying. Um, I'll, I'll give you a. No, I mean, you can. Or here, I'll link you if you're bored sometime. Here, you're going right. to have a link I'll, to the debate. Like, I mean, um, it's not. I had a huge two hour they, debate. They, they said Sargon did not agree, Andy did not agree. <laughs> Yeah, all these Andy, guys were being convinced. They, they, said, they said Andy Worski's coming at you. Yeah, oh yeah, well, a lot of them are mad at me now over okay, a bunch no, of other well, stuff. T- well, tell, tell me the truth. So you said Andy Worski and Sargon... Yeah, they were being like were, swayed by these pedophile arguments they, from this they, MOC they, guy. They, they, you said they were on board with the pro. Yeah, with the pedophilia shit. Yeah, it was fucked up. But here's here's my debate. I linked it. I had this huge debate against uh, the MOC guy, and I shut down yeah. that pedophile shit real hard. Well, if, you, if you're shutting down pedophile shit, I mean, props to you. That's good. That That's disgusting shit but uh i'm definitely yeah, gonna have to i'm definitely gonna have to ask uh adam uh or worski about that adam, yeah sure thing oh yeah he's got a guy adam, he's got adam, a co-host adam, great, right now that sexually abuses me- mentally retarded girls it's crazy what? um his co-host yeah it's insane there's been court docs Wait, tell, tell me about this no there's it, been court docs i've been late you check my twitter dude is this, is this a meme or is this i'm not real? memeing there's his co-host okay. jf he like abducted me, this 19 year old retarded girl from her house and he was trying to fucking put a baby in her it was some crazy shit that sounds like it sounds like some shit Burger Planet would do. Yeah, it, oh Burger Planet. <laughs> yeah. Somebody on livestream fails. Somebody on livestream fails commented yeah. that exact same comment. Yeah, it sounded like some Burger Planet <laughs> shit, dude. dude. Burger Andy. Burger Planet, Burger Planet literally like. First of all, he's like married, by the way, and then he literally hit on like a retarded girl. Part of my French, but like she's act. She's yeah. like actually like Down syndrome, and he was like kiss me, kiss me, and it was like the most awkward thing I've ever seen. And I, I know some weird stuff goes on during live streams but like that was that was fucked up in my opinion did you see that clip yeah i did it was some fucked up shit i've seen a lot it, of it was fucking cringy, right? shit. yeah it was weird it wasn't just one clip too it was like a whole like four minute inside that restaurant or whatever yeah didn't he like hit a girl too didn't he like smack, smack? oh i don't know he's done a lot of weird shit I, I don't keep up yeah. with like all the twitch stream I would, drama, but i don't yeah, even know if he's I, on twitch anymore. i think if he comes back to la i think i'm gonna flip his van oh shit Nah, just kidding. No, actually, what I am going to do is if I... Because he lives in a van, um, <laughs> which is kind of sad. But uh, if I see his van, I, I wanted to go stream me putting a bunch of Trump stickers on the back of his car because I know he'd get uh, really mad about that. Sure. Yeah. So how do you feel being on... Imagine being on the same team as Burger Andy. That would be pretty no. bad. I don't want to be on that dude's team. Suck. Well, you're, you're on the same team. You guys both hate Trump. Well... I mean, how do you feel being on? <laughs> how do you feel being on the same team as Burger Andy? I'm not. You are. You're both white. Burger Andy is. Ah, uh, damn. Damn it. Damn it. You That's got all me. Right. You Don't got worry, me there. Dude. We all are, have are our you, flaws. Are you? Are you white or what are you? I, yeah, I identify as white. Yeah. So we're both all on the same team. Yep. That's cool. Okay, so back to Star Wars. Back to Star Wars. And we got some spicy. Everyone, make sure to chill real quick. Make sure to hit that like button. We got like 400 people in here, only 130 likes. Hit the thumbs up button. So me as a smaller creator, I have to do that. I know you probably don't have to do that, Destiny, but I only have like 18K subs. I'm trying to grow. What? Or real quick, we got a super chat that says, tell Destiny to fuck off. He lost the debate to JF. I don't, I don't know who that is. And has nothing but ad homonyms left. So, um, oh, that's to... like a real big meme. If you look at like all of my fans do this every time I have a conversation with somebody. Like even if I'm playing league, like if I die in league, they'll go like, "Oh, Destiny got totally destroyed by that debate." <laughs> so that guy that donated, he's probably one of my fans. Um, a oh, lot cool. of people. There's a guy called like um, it, he always he always thinks it's like Paul something. He always runs around and he shit posts like these kinds of Paul donations. Town? Wait, what? Oh uh, no, this was uh, Paul Paddock. Oh shit, that might be him then. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah yeah, 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 yeah. That's one of my fans. They always run around and they do this. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Destiny got destroyed, and they say that for like everything. All right, they're saying they're saying I need to chat with JF. Who is JF? Who the hell? Fill me in on this stuff. I I'm a little lost. I feel like the middleman here. 
Um, he's he's like the he's just a co-host for Andy. You can go look him up. You can go watch, go through my tweets sometimes. Oh, he's like, he, okay, he's the co-host. Yeah, yeah. he's like the nineteen-year-old uh, retard girl abductor. Yeah. They said JF destroyed you, dumb fuck. Yeah, you know, eh, we got a, we got a lot, of, a lot of opinions here. So, um, well, I I got a I I'm a person. I need to do my own research. I I I'm gonna take your word for it, uh-huh. Destiny, and I I will do my own independent research. I like to give people the benefit of the doubt. Um, man, everyone is really going off. They're like, contact Andy Worski, contact Sargon, contact JF. So, guys, I, I'm in the middle of a live stream. We, we'll, uh, we'll, I'll talk to them later. Um, okay, okay. Anyways, right. we, we got a lot of hot comments. So, okay. back to Star Wars. Back yeah. to Star Wars. So, yeah. So, what else didn't you like? So, I thought the lightsaber thing. Do you, th- do you see? I think it works like thematically, right? I, 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 I hate. I, I hate it. We, okay. We so, wait, what else do you not like? The other thing I didn't like. The stupid fucking casino, that whole casino scene where, the, and it's not because she's Asian, but that stupid Asian girl, what, she's the worst character. She's so cheesy. There was no point to any of that storyline. And and then they, they tried to like to throw in some sh- social justice shit. They were like, oh, shit, oh no, like, dude. Help, help the so, animals like- <clears throat> and greet, greedy people in the casino. We got to, I'm like, dude. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, no, so I think the casino scene. I could have done without that whole scene. Dude, the casino scene was so important. So the Asian girl was, I don't know if she's, (laughs) I don't know if she's like Asian or Indian or whatever, but like, so she was a bad character, but. I'm convinced you're a troll now. No, 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 no. Check this out. actually like the casino scene? Yeah. Well, no, no, check this out. So like. wrong with your fucking head. Do you remember, did you ever watch Rogue One? No, I didn't see Rogue One. So like the whole point of the casino scene, right, is it gets into like some, some, uh, a lot more um, or more mature territory than most Star Wars have ventured before, right? I think that the entire point of the casino scene was to show that, like, all of this war and all of this conquest and all of this crazy shit that happens around the galaxy, that there are people that are profiteering off of this, right? This idea that there are weapons manufacturers and shit that are making it, right? Because we go through the casino scene, we see how lush and crazy the whole casino shit is, and then later, when that hacker guy gets on that ship, we later find out that, like, oh, hey, you know, you think these guys are all bad guys? Well, remember when he shows them the picture of the X-Wings and shit they sell? You find out that, well, actually, people all over the universe are profiting off of this stuff. Um, and, and one of the important things about the casino scene, too, I think, is that it gives us a chance, even though that Asian chick, I don't, I don't remember if she's Asian or Indian. People were saying different things. I don't remember. But the, but the one the one girl, um, she's kind of a shitty character, but she allows us to develop the character Finn more, right? We get to see more of him and his interaction with her and him kind of stepping up um, because initially he was just going to run away, right? But we see him yeah. kind of step up to take more of a leadership role in terms of like trying to help the resistance, you know, get out of their sticky situation. Um, the casino scene probably dragged on a little bit too long, but I think that a lot of the themes that we were introduced there was kind of really important to setting up a more mature and kind of fleshed out Star Wars world. Okay. Yeah, I disagree with all that. Um, someone's saying, well, why do you disagree with it? Invite JF in. I, I, I don't, I've never, I don't know JF. I have never talked to the dude. Um, if, uh, nah, we don't want to do that. We don't want to go into that here. Okay. I don't all have right, time for so, all that. I got to take that, off. That, 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 that's a sure. Well, what do you disagree with about the, J- what do you disagree about the casino scene? Isn't that one of your memes too? I, I don't have time. I don't have time for that. Well, no, because I, I have a friend. I said I'd play a little bit today. Well, well, I I agree. No, I mm-hmm. I agreed that we would do a one on one. So I, I'm not going to break your trust there. I'm not going to sure bring anyone in. So um, let, let's let's go back to our debate, guys. Yeah. Um, Wait. So why didn't you like the casino scene? I thought it did a lot of that stuff it, pretty funny. It, it was just stupid. I, I I agree with you. I did like the conclusion. How I did like that part where they're like, oh, they're sort of like selling to both people. I did think that was sort of a cool little. Uh, plot twist, but and and I did like uh, what's the guy, Del Toro guy, um, the thin guy, the, the the little the guy with the little speech impediment that got him out. Oh, the the but, thief guy or whatever, the master thief. Yeah, guy. yeah, yeah, yeah. He was pretty cool, but yeah. no, th- there's just so many fucking plot holes. It's like the thief guy. Wait, what plot hole? The thief guy got him out of the. Oh, so, so why did why didn't he just do that in the beginning? So this is something that um, I you have to look really hard into it. I actually saw this film three times because I was really curious, um, and this was one of the parts that I caught on the you third waste, time. You saw the you saw Star Wars three. Well, originally times. I had a friend that came in. What a fucking waste of money. Well, I had I had a friend that came in. Put that into yeah. fucking uh, TRX or Ripple sure. Or I, I had a friend that came in. I had two other groups of friends that wanted to see it at different occasions, but like I was paying attention to this stuff really closely. So I think that the point of that casino thing and that master thief guy, I think that master thief guy was always there waiting for them that 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 was a long-term ploy that was set up to try to um (laughs) fuck with the resistance people he he was just living in the jail cell yeah so like this so this is this is kind of funny but like if you really think about it the guy that they saw upstairs remember how they were looking for that specific pin 
that guy didn't really look like he had anything to do with hacking. Like, he was there with a couple of girls. He seemed really suave. He seemed like a gambler. He didn't really seem like the master hacker at all. So it's clear from, from that, and then there are a couple other scenes where once they get to the jail, like, what are the chances that that guy can hack everything, okay, right? I'm that gonna, guy... I'm gonna... Okay, okay. No, no, that guy in there, he was a master hacker. But what's the most important thing that he did? It wasn't breaking through the defenses and everything. It was the fact that they knew that the resistance would go and contact him because they knew that the resistance had contacts with that one lady that gave the lightsaber. That's who referred um, the guy to them, right? They went down looking for him. When that guy came up, he's the one that told the, the new order, or the first order, whatever their name is. He's the one that told them about the cloaked ships that were leaving the ship that were going to the planet. If he hadn't had been there, then all of the uh, rebels would have escaped off that ship and made it. So so I think that was a long-term ploy by the First Order in order to, uh, in order to make sure that they had truly killed all of the uh, rebels that were on that ship. Okay, I'm, I'm going to ask one more time, and then I promise I, w- I will not bring this up again. But yeah. people are like posting in my chat. They said, ask him about his 15-year-old child porn. Is it, is I've that- never had 15-year-old child porn before. I don't know. <laughs> or, or any age, right? Well, I, I hope. well, I mean, like, I this 20 year old child no, porn i don't know no, <laughs> i don't know no, no i mean i've no, had porn of people that are 20 or 25 years old but no i've never had any child porn before you've had 20 year old child porn I, no, well no i don't think you would consider 20 year olds to be child porn are you what asking you, me if i've ever you, had porn what you, before what do, you, what do you consider a child uh, probably anything under the age of 18 okay yeah i i'm i'm, I'm confused I, I i guys i think I, I'm so out of touch as far as your whole thing with JF, and I think people are trying to interject that. So, okay, I I, I I am being honest, and I am asking him the questions, but I just I don't know enough about that right now. I'm sorry. Okay. Anyways, this scene, if you actually like this scene, I, I, I am going to question your sanity. Okay, here. which so, scene? Luke Skywalker, you know, we've been waiting 30 years, and I'm like, this movie is garbage. Mm-hmm. Finally, in the end of the movie... I'm like, finally, Luke is coming out to face Kylo Ren. There's going to be a showdown. Hell yeah, let's go. Luke sent his fucking hologram, dude. Like, he didn't even have the balls to go out there and face him. He sent a fucking hologram. And and then he does a stupid little fight. And then he fucking dies because he's like, oh, that took too much energy. Uh." Like, dude. Are you fucking kidding me, dude? Like, I, I waited 30 years to see... Uh, Luke Skywalker pull like a Tupac at Coachella, like a little hologram dance, and, and that, that shit was corny as fuck, dude. There's, well, there's no. But I mean, way like, if he like- would have if he would have killed him, it wouldn't have made any sense at all. Look at all of the themes that we've dealt with in this movie. All of the all of this idea that the new replaces the old, that the new blood goes on and the old has to leave. Right? If if Luke would have shown up and killed like a new warrior, it would have betrayed the entire point of the movie, which was passing the tor- torch off to a newer generation of, of Jedi to fight. So Sounds that, like you're advocating for white genocide here. No, I, I don't think so. <laughs> I think you are. Out like, with I would the say, old, in with the new, you know? I, I would say that like that's pretty just consistent with throwing away the lightsaber, with the with the um, temple being burned up and everything, um, you know, with, with Luke kind of, um, you know, Luke trying to, because he already tried to kill um, Ky- Kylo once before, right? Remember in the, in the room, or he thought about it, right? Um, but we see that there's kind of like this theme of like, the old can't kill the new, you can only teach them, you know, what you want, and then hope that they make the right choices for the future. That idea of like, passing on the, the best ideas, and passing on, you know, what you believe is righteous and true, um, I, I think totally makes sense with, with everything that's been shown in this movie. So like, Luke couldn't have shown him, shown up at the end. Um, in fact, Luke showing up at the end there does exactly what we would expect him to do, which is give the, the young the time to escape, right? He sacrifices himself, he can't fight and kill Kylo, that wouldn't make sense with the entire theme of the movie. Right? Remember they when fuck, Snoke gets fuck, killed they by Kylo? Kill Snow, they, they yeah, that Snoke makes sense. Yeah, the young Jedi. No, it, doesn't, or the, it doesn't make sense. Yeah. We never learned anything about Snoke. They never told us a single thing about Snoke. We don't need to know anything kill. about Snoke. All I want to know, know about Snoke. Sure, and maybe like in an extended no, universe or alternate movie no or whatever, they'll do it. Development. Fucking Leia. Okay, next one. Leia is fucking flying around like she's like, Mary Poppins! And like, like, dude, Leia has never used the Force. Uh, there, there's this whole. There, I agree. There are common themes. There, there's there's this whole women power resistance theme in in the new Star Wars. Leia has never used the Force. We've never seen her use the Force. All of a sudden, she resurrects out of an ice capsule in space and just flies around. And then fucking the other girl. I don't even know her name because she's so stupid. She fucking defeats Luke Skywalker, who arguably is the most powerful Jedi of all time, and she defeats him. Uh, 
never even using the force before so like, and then just a master of the force and then we figure out her parents are nobody and, and nothing yeah makes so any like i think sense. the idea they, no, i think they just wanted to well, no, no, no. Up, so like i think powerful Ooh, the women just, commander shut up you white male no no shut i think you just need up. i think you just need the correct lens to view this through which is a passing off of the old of the new right when people are put into situations where they have to defend the passing of the torch they can do incredible things that's the i think that's the entire point of this um for a really great example wow. of this wait wait, wait for a really powerful. for a really great example of this the most powerful jedi arguably of all time was the emperor in episodes four five and Six, and who kills him? Darth Vader, who already had like his hand cut off. How does he do that? How is Darth Vader possibly killing the Emperor there when he's already weakened from his fight with Luke? That's a, that's more unbelievable than than um, Leia, you know, drifting through space for a little bit. Um, that's a, that's an impossible uh, defeat right there. Palpatine should have been able to turn and, and blast him off the the fucking space station, but instead Vader picks him up and throws him away because he was threatening his progeny. He was threatening his son. I, I think it's totally thematically consistent with what happens in the Star Wars movies. It, it might have been thematically consistent, but it, it just there's so many fucking plot holes that it doesn't make sense. Like Snoke, for example, he says, oh, I can read everything in your mind, dude. I can I can read every little thing in your mind. Yet, how come he couldn't read that a fucking lightsaber was about to stab him? Oh, but Explain he that. but he was reading it. That was the whole point. The guy what? had the guy had the lightsaber in front of the girl and he was reading that he was about to turn on a lightsaber to kill somebody. But he just Are didn't know that it was him here? instead of the girl. Oh, really? Yeah, that remember because I, I the girl thought, was the girl was on her knees in front of him, and he had the lightsaber, oh, and Snoke so, so was saying he can, he can read minds. He just doesn't get the exact name, so it's like well, so no, no, know, so like for force for the force, like some Jedi is gonna like drop well, no, 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 no. So this here, is but he doesn't really know which Jedi. Yeah, well, this is consistent with the force. Remember in an episode, I think it was episode two, um, when Yoda says that he feels like a darkness. Yoda can't tell like oh, like I can one hundred percent tell that there's a plan to overthrow the Jedi because if he knew that, then he would have killed Palpatine, right? Jedi can't tell like specifics they can only read feelings or emotions remember when darth vader is fighting luke and he says i can feel the evil i can feel the madness in you he's not like feeling exact things same thing with snoke snoke could feel that he was about to kill somebody with a lightsaber but he can't tell exactly who he can kill that's the jedi have never been able to tell things that exact before hmm. someone okay i got two super chats here let me read these uh someone said let destiny play uh, League of Legends with you. Get Jim, JF, and Andy on. All right, thank you, Spike Bond. And another one said, "Nigga, fuck Star Wars. Bring in Jean Francis Giarpi. I don't know who that is. That oh, I, I think it's another JF. YouTuber. Oh, that might be Jess. Hold on. Yeah, J. I don't know who Giarpi is though. Um, yeah, they. they uh, Snoke, yeah, Snoke isn't a Jedi. That, that, that's a good point. Or not, well, not Jedi, but I'm sorry, Force sensitive people. I shouldn't call him a Jedi. The, force sensitive. Yeah. So, 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 so he's Force sensitive, and mm -hmm. he can he can figure. He know he said he knows exactly what Kylo, Kylo Ren is thinking. Well, but, no, he can get vague Kylo feelings. Ren. Like, he okay. got the feeling that Kylo Ren was about to kill somebody with a lightsaber, but he can't know that it's him because maybe he wasn't aware that his saber was sitting on the edge so of this. Maybe, so you're, okay, so maybe we can agree here. So maybe mm -hmm. that makes sense. Snoke was sort of blowing smoke up Kylo's ass and, and being like, I can sense everything, but maybe he was talking himself up a little bit and maybe he just sort of has the feelers for what's going on well, yeah it's kind of like uh this is this is like a this is a really old theme in in in, in film really um that carries through some of the star wars as well as you always present yourself as more powerful than you actually are kind of like a wizard of oz-esque thing right like the wizard of oz isn't this grand super powerful all-knowing character it's just a little dude mind. right and snoke to some extent is probably building himself up like that as well oh he's dead he's fucking dead now well yeah he fucked up i guess in with the new I, out with I, the old i i wanted i was hoping snoke was gonna be mace windu i was really Hoping for that fan, dude. None, none of the fan theories came through. They, they literally just got a huge pile of shit and we're like, "Here you go. Here's your movie," and ju just popped it right on our. Well, faces. like I don't know, like what parts? I, th I feel like most of the parts are explained pretty well. I mean, I guess it wasn't as cool as like the first episodes with all the lightsaber parts and everything, but I feel like everything made sense. There's there was no character development. Like I I, I said, like I I don't I didn't feel like I wanted to watch. I didn't feel. Wait, like, really? I thought there was a ton of character development. No, there was not. There yeah. was no character. Wait, they like which character all, do you want to talk about? This stupid ass purple hair. Okay, let's talk about the stupid ass purple hair bitch who comes in. She's ordering everyone around. She could have just told, you know, she has to scream at the white men, mm -hmm. and she could have just told Poe the plan that she was going to kill herself in Kamikaze in the first place instead of dragging him along and like having him do a whole mutiny against her. 
just to yeah so no no so i can understand that so like i i do agree that they presented this in ways that made it pretty hard to follow unless you like really know what to look for so on media we call these tertiary characters so the point of her wasn't to be developed as a character it was to show another character how they could develop so her point wasn't to be developed she was just there to serve a function to develop the character of poe and what poe learned is that you can't always judge a book by its cover um the idea that like you know she seems like an evil bitch like she's just fucking horrible blah 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 but then when he gets on the ship later he finds out that oh wow she actually had a plan the whole time maybe I need to chill about just flying in and going crazy and bombing everything like maybe things are a little bit there's a few more layers to things than what I actually understand I think yeah I think you're pretty delusional if, if you don't think that's like a very clear feminist well, you, propaganda message wait why does it matter if she's a guy or a girl she ends up dying right so she, I mean she, she's telling the man to shut up and that the women need to be in charge well no I don't think it had anything to do with men like that character could have been a man or it could have been black or they could have been gay or it could have been Jar Jar Binks. Like, why she was being nice to the other people, but then the, you know... The, well, because Poe was the one that was always second-guessing it. Remember, before this scene happened... He had good... He had good no, reason. he didn't. Remember, yeah. before this scene, Poe suicided the entire fleet into the First hey, Order to try to kill a Dreadnought. Poe did nothing wrong. Poe had... He po suicided had the, an entire fleet. They have, like, no supplies, po man. Poe had the best intentions, man. The, yeah, but good intentions don't win wars. Only good actions and good commanders do, right? That's hey, the whole point. Real quick, someone brought it up in the chat. I wanted to get your opinion on, um, if you don't mind, on Logan Paul. So I personally think Logan Paul did nothing wrong. Um, and I see all these leftists sort of like whining about this Logan Paul thing. You know, they literally, on Vice, they made a video about the suicide forest back in 2012. Um, I, I, th I think Logan Paul did like wrong. What, what did you think about that situation? Um, I mean, like, normally I don't care about Logan Paul. People seem really obsessed with him, but I don't usually care much about him. I don't know why people are so obsessed. I mean, I think that, I don't know if I would say, like, what he did with the forest stuff was, like, super morally horrible. I just think it was really crass and really insensitive. Like, imagine, say, that's your brother or dad that committed suicide and you didn't know yet, and the first time you see it is on a dude's YouTube video who's laughing about it. I think that would be pretty hard to deal with. I mean, I think it would have been better if he, like, made a, you know, did a Jake Paul collab and, like, did a song with the body and was like, it's every day, bro, you know, with the dead body flow. Like, I, I think that would have been funnier. I mean, I mean, it would have been funnier, but he probably would have got a lot more hate for it. <laughs> right? You wouldn't it, feel that good if that was, like, your dad or so, your brother so, or some so shit, why, right? Uh, why, why is Vice allowed to show it, and, but not Logan Paul? Well, because there's a difference between, like, we're going to do a documentary about 9-11 versus we're going to make a comedy movie about, like, a comedian who everything is going wrong, and now he's got his final comedy audition, and it happens to be on, like, floor 97 of the second world. Funny. Yeah, you, can't laugh, you can't laugh at 9-11 jokes? Come on. Well, I mean, there's a difference between that and, like, putting it in a YouTube video and just laughing at it, especially when there's a dead body present, you know? Like, it's probably a little tasteless, I would say. He, he, he blurted out, though. He, it, it wasn't, like, super... I mean... I mean, like, the you, problem was the fact he was showing a guy dead that, like, maybe the family didn't know about it yet, you, you know? Vice didn't show any bodies in their documentary. They just talked about it. Pretty sure they showed some bodies. No, they didn't. I, I know. I've actually watched it. I actually watched it yesterday in response yeah, to this. All yeah, exactly. Shit. Yeah, 9-11's funny, man. You gotta grow up. Sure. Bush, Bush, who did it? Who did 9-11? Uh, well, who do you not, think not Bush, because Bush isn't a Jew, right? I, uh... Oh, there you go. Jet fuel I never, can't melt. I, 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 Jet fuel can't I, melt it, but Ashkenaz, we feel, can definitely <laughs> melt steel beams, right? Exactly, exactly, dude. Uh... Someone said, I sent you my super chats, respond. You know um, that this is where, I don't know if you know this, but like in terms of those 9-11 conspiracy theories, this is where yeah. that idea that Murdoch is a Jew comes from, right? 9-11 was almost certainly a conspiracy. Um, one of the reasons why people think that Murdoch was a Jew was because Murdoch was talking about 9-11 five minutes before it actually happened. It was a huge fuck up by, wow. the, by the media. He had mentioned something that made it sound like, like he was talking about like a lot of crazy shit going down in New York City and people were really confused and people aren't sure if he got the message early or what the fuck was going on there but that's one of the things um there are a bunch of documentaries created called loose change and then like a uh, loose change part two about this, this is, yeah loose change was great I yeah think the most and, and a lot of it is mentioned here this is why people point to murdoch as being a jew is because okay. of this fuck up here yeah well i i, I think the craziest part of 9 11 in my opinion is the whole pentagon thing like literally oh right into to, the renovated part right they, they tried to convince us that that was a plane went there when there's no marks on the grass. Yeah, like, no footage or anything. Yeah. Yes. So uh, do we agree on that? I don't know. I, I can't quite. I don't know, man. Really. Sounded like you agreed on that. Well, I, I, I'm just, I'm agnostic it, 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 towards like, it all, you know? I don't it, it, know. It, 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 
it seems like you love to take the, like these sort of agnostic positions and be like, I don't really know, man. Like, I mean, well, the problem is that really like with things like, like, with well, things why like, why can't you just well, take with, a song? Cause with things like nine 11, I don't know. Can I, I can't take a strong stance on that. I don't I fucking said, know. I, like, I said, what do you think? I didn't say, what do you know? Oh, yes. well, I would have to like spend like weeks, like looking into it what to get like, know? a real, no, you are, you already just told me you watch loose change. You watch all the, yeah, but there is arguments. What Popular mechanics has done articles in response to it. I don't know, man. I'm not sure. Just, just off the top of your head, 9-11, inside job? Maybe there's some not, stuff the government's not telling us. That's what I maybe, think. Maybe, so maybe, maybe, maybe there's inside some stuff job. The gov- maybe. See, you're, you're always, th- this is the problem with people that are like centrist and all that. They, they don't ever take a position and that's, it's so annoying because you kind of have your cake and eat it too. At the same time, like you, you need to choose a side or else it, you're just dancing okay, around. I'm just day. kidding. All right, I'm messing with you. Listen, 9-11 okay. was not an inside job. 9-11 was are, a terrorist attack serious? that was planned by Osama bin Laden. Yeah, it's pretty or, uh, Yeah, it's pretty obvious. Dude. Uh, so in, order for, in order for 9-11 to have been an inside job, there would have been thousands of people involved in that project that would have all had to simultaneously keep it under wraps without leaking it to anybody, and you had an administration that was at the epitome of incompetence. The Bush administration wasn't even competent enough to, to run their own administration. How could they have possibly gotten thousands of people on board to all like be involved in the 9-11 shit and nobody leaked or told Dick anything? Dick Cheney made money off the Iraq war. Yeah, sure. Because he had uh, investments in Halliburton. But I mean, military industrial complex, that's not, mil- that's not conspiracy. That's like open fact. Like we already know that, you know, Halliburton. Right. We, got a, we got a super chat here. Someone said, destiny is like a Jew. He subverts and distracts from my super chats. Hmm. Uh-oh. Any, anything you need to tell us, big guy? I don't know. I don't want to talk about it openly. You got any uh, secrets in, in the closet there? That's why they're secrets and that's why they're in the closet and they're not coming out. <laughs> So are you married? Are you married? Um, I can't talk about that. I Why would not? Be in, I would get in trouble if I revealed because she's not of the same bloodline. Oh, you can't tell your husband? No. I would be murdered. Why, Why can't uh, you tell your husband? That's halal to be married to a gay man. Okay. But you do have a son. Yeah. I can't talk about that either. I don't have a son. I take that back, actually. I can't Wait, talk about t- that. Wait, you take it back. I can't All talk right, about we got, that. We got another... Another super chat from the same guy. He says he continues to distract. I don't care so much about my shekels. Um, yeah, I, so I, I don't know what this guy's going on about. I think he really, really wants you to uh, debate JF. So let me let me officially ask you: if, if I can contact JF, would you be comfortable with doing not not today, not right now, but would you be comfortable if I moderated and, and I'll, I'll be as unbiased as I can because I don't even know the situation. Um, would you be down to uh, debate JF on my channel? It would depend on the day, because I have my. I think like Tuesday through Friday, my daughter's usually here, so I don't have. Wait, time you have to... a daughter too? You have uh, a daughter well, I didn't. Son. Yeah, I'm sorry. I can't really talk about that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't talk about that. Okay. But wait, so you have a daughter? Do- well, man, well there's. Just... I can't. I, I don't. I don't like to talk about that stuff. No, no. But um, I, I'm I'm busy Tuesday through Friday, so you would have to give me like the exact date. And then, um, okay, so you've you've agreed to it. So, all right, so I'll I'll contact JF and and we'll get a good time for you guys and we'll we'll settle this on my channel. I I will stay out of it. I'll let you guys talk. But apparently, everyone in the comments, it's just it's just constant. That's that's what they want to hear. Sure. Um, so someone else said Jonathan Fier said, "Is Kamikaze the ultimate Star Wars weapon now?" That that's a good question. I mean, I think it might might be the ultimate star wars weapon i mean that it's also kind of weird like why didn't anyone if we're gonna if kamikaze is a weapon now if uh light speed is a weapon now like what why did they do it before why did Um, we never see well no so this is actually explained um in universe um so have you ever heard the meme about how like the millennium falcon is the fastest ship it can make the run the kessler run in 12 parts right the reason why the millennium falcon can do that wasn't because it was fast it's because it had a really good navigation computer you can actually wiki like some fan shit i don't know why i know this guy look into this shit um but up until that point um for light speed you usually um didn't go like at full they don't call it warp they've got a different name for it but you don't get to full light speed like super fast that technology hadn't been developed until after um episode six you, you so like if that ship would have tried that like in an earlier star wars movie it probably just would have started to accelerate quickly and then been blown up before reaching the ship the only reason why they can do that light speed thing now is because they're further into the future where they have the technology to be able to get to that like really high light speed very very quickly that hyper drive speed that's not canon though that's not canon. Um, I, I think the Millennium Falcon thing is canon, but yeah, the new technology is canon. That's why when they were on that ship, um, remember how the whole point of that ship was that they had a new technology that let them track down people in light speed? Yeah, there's a lot of like new technology that is canon. 
Yeah. All right. So, so, so someone's asking here. This is another question. Um, and, and first of all, someone said Destiny doesn't know anything about Star Wars. <laughs> um, no, I know. I actually read like all the fucking books in between um, I, I, I four, five, six, and one, two, three. Yeah. Seems like you, you actually know quite a bit about Star Wars. Yeah. Maybe I think you maybe know too much about Star Wars. Yeah. No, so I was a maybe, huge maybe that. I read. There's like a three part. The yeah. There was a three part fucking novel and like Boba Fett and shit and like his entire life and travel and how he was like related to Han Solo and shit. Like I know so much stupid shit, but I used to be really yes. into it a long time ago. I'm not as much into it anymore, but. So what do you think about uh, incest? Um, I don't know. It's pretty gross, don't you think? I don't have any siblings I, I, I want to fuck. I think, I think that's pretty gross, too. Yeah, no, yeah. someone said, uh, ask you about incest that something you Ooh. were you maybe were he's pro. got like a maybe he's got like a really hot sister or something and that's why he wants to know <laughs> maybe he's looking for an excuse to go at her well, well speaking of incest um did you did you know and this is another reason i don't think muslims should come over here is did you know in, in a lot of breeding problems yeah, like in Pakistan, did you know over 50% of the population is inbred? Yeah, so this actually happens in, um, that, in any that's place. That's an incredible statistic. <laughs> yeah, like, so this like, actually happens in any place where geographically people are pretty isolated. There's actually a problem, I want to say, in Northern Ireland right now, where even though they're separate, they don't do like quote-unquote inbreeding. The genetic diversity of that population is so low that you're starting to see a lot of inbreeding problems show up there. Um, I think it happens with low IQ people, actually. I don't no, think no, no, it, it has to do with geographic. It's, hap- it's not happening in Japan. They're trapped. There well, that's because island. Japan is a huge. That's because Japan is Australia. way bigger. Japan is a huge place. It, it just has so to do with Ireland. how Ireland's a what? big place. Well, I don't. It's. Do you think Irish people are low IQ? I don't. I, I don't think. No, I'm Irish. I don't think they're low oh, IQ. Oh shit! I don't, well, I don't, I don't know. Maybe that's why you're in here defending them now. Wait, are you pro incest? <laughs> no. Really? Because I looked up earlier. I don't think you're actually married to Laura Loomer. Why would you lie about that? Uh, Laura Loomer is actually my sister. Oh, and, I, and you I, said you were married to her. Star Wars, Star Wars, back to Star Wars, okay? Back to Star Wars. Don't okay. Bring it up, don't bring it up. Don't where, bring it up. You mean where Luke and Leia were kissing each other? Did you like that scene a lot because they were brother sister? Oh, wow. You you did love that scene. Pro incest. Well, I didn't. I'm not the, saying my you, sister you is the, my, you my love wife. You the Luke and Leia scene? All right. I got. My, I told my friend I'd be with him in like five or ten minutes, so we got to we gotta hurry. Do Wait, are, are, are we playing League 2? Um, can I jump well, we're this playing, game? We're playing, we're playing ranked games, so I can only do two at a time, unfortunately. Uh... Oh, Maybe in the All future, right. okay? All right. So, well, let's wrap up. Let's see. Your friend's waiting. And they also want me to invite Jim. Have you talked to Jim? Maybe, yeah, I've maybe talked to Jim we'll... a few times before. Yeah. Okay. So maybe we'll get Jim on and JF next time. Sounds pretty fun. But I just want to say, Destiny, uh, thank you for coming on. I, I do appreciate your time. I think this was a really fun conversation. Uh, a lot more fun than I thought. I thought it would be, like, more uh, – I thought you would attack me more, but you were uh, pretty chill. So I do appreciate you being civil and uh, all that. And I do appreciate you giving advice uh, to my fan base and being honest about things. And um, yeah, I, I had a pretty good time. All right. Well, hey, I had a fun time too. This is definitely a lot of fun for me for sure. So thanks for having me, buddy. All right. Well, uh, I'll set up the JF interview and we'll do that soon and uh, have a good game. Yeah. I'll see you later, bye. All right. Peace out. <laughs> okay. Guys. Listen, all right? Nothing that I said about Star Wars was true. That movie was fucking horrible, okay? Please. Do not take any of what I said in this conversation as serious, okay? I mean, he was spot on about the Star Wars <laughs> shit. I mean, pretty much. Like. <laughs> Fuck, dude. I hate to the best the classes night. that I ever yeah. took in my life were English classes, dude. When I had to take, when I had to churn out those ten-page papers, you know where that shit? That's when that bullshit factory yeah. got to pumping, dude. All right. I How- thought you made up the um the thousands of like shekels or whatever, whatever like the uh, the what. The- the 9-11 movie was called? I thought you made that shit up. And I thought nah, was- whenever you're lying, I always tell you this, dude. Um, whenever you want to construct a really good lie, you always have Add to root it in truth. It. Yeah, Loose Change is a real documentary that was made. Um, you know, Murdoch is a real guy. 9-11 is a real event. Whenever you start to, whenever you root things in reality, it becomes very hard to pick out what is true and what is false. That's like the most important part about telling lies. So anytime I tell a lie about Star Wars, I'm always trying to connect it to like another event that happened in universe. Like the because then it becomes, like, yeah, yeah, like, oh shit, well, if he's referencing something that happened in the prequels, well then yeah, this must be true, right? Yeah. Of course. He knows what he's talking about, yeah. yeah. Why did you decide to go full memes on? Because I, I realized, like, halfway into talking to him, he's that it was like, like a no bullshit and he like or? just lying to me about like that was a Nazi march in fucking Charlottesville. They were chanting "Jews will not replace us." That tiki torch shit. That was not a Blood fucking like. It was a fucking Nazi march. So if he's gonna sit there and fucking lie to me, well then fuck it, dude. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> then fuck it, dude. Then we'll go full fucking memes. I liked it.
I liked it. <laughs> guys. I couldn't tell what was real at a like, Yeah, a point guys, I hated that fucking movie. Do not take anything I said here is that I like the movie, or if you feel like you <laughs> like the movie and you're happy for some minutes, I fucking hated episode eight. Do you God damn, that movie was fucking horrible. Like, ah, I don't know, but it was all right. <laughs> uh, and I was like, this movie sucks from yeah, fucking Yeah, it was a dick. bad, yeah, it was a it was. bad movie, okay? Okay.